Okay, Men in Black. I'm going to address Men in Black because you're putting... Man, I really need to find a, be a better way to hold this tablet up. Here's the issue with Men in Black. Since the 1940s and 50s, any type of strange phenomena that occurs on Earth, we have been conditioned by the media to interpret interpret that by the filters that have present, been presented to us. I'm talking about extraterrestrials and aliens because by getting us to believe in extraterrestrials and aliens are the cause of all the weird anomalous phenomena since the 1940s and 50s, corrals us into a, into a corridor of thinking that automatically eliminates other possibilities. I examine those possibilities in my other videos. Now, if we go back 400 years to the force of Germany, to, to the, the uh, areas of the Teutons, to the, the Burgundians, to the Saxons, if we go through all Norway and Denmark, we're, we don't come across references in none of the traditions, in all the fairy tales and all the stories that are local to that part of the world, their frames of reference were totally different. They believed in bogies in trolls, elves, and fairies. This is why extraterrestrials today carry a lot of the physical attributes of the belief systems that were four and five hundred years ago. We are talking about the exact same phenomena. Four and five hundred years ago, fairies came out at night under strange light conditions in darkness and danced in rings and the next morning the evidence was a crop circle. Today, it's aliens doing crop circles, except for all those who got caught faking the other ones, but some of them are legit. And we know that because of the chemical composition of, of the material, the, the, whatever the, the, the crop was that, was that was messed with. Yeah, that's some really interesting studies. But aside from that, it all has to do with our frames of reference at the time. So it has nothing to do with aliens and all that, but... When the simulacrum is going to send NPCs to distract or to harass or invoke fear, it's going to do so by the frames of reference that you have already accepted as true. So it's not going to send a bogey. It's not going to send an elf. You're far more sophisticated. Your frames of reference are now technological. It's going to send something more like a government agent that has extraterrestrial ties. Enter Men in Black. The simulacrum will always respond to you and comport with whatever your level of understanding, comprehension, and interpretive capacity is at that time. That's what Men in Black is.